A Voyage to Brobdingnag, Part 2 of Gulliver's Travels. Gulliver returns home to his wife in England, but no more than two months later, Gulliver embarks on a second voyage. A great storm makes him travel somewhere unexpected. This time he travels to the land of the gigantic Brobdingnagians, where he is exhibited like a freak and made to fight animals. An eagle drops him into the sea where he is picked up by a British ship and returned to England. Characters The King the king of Brobdingnag, who, in contrast to the emperor of Lilliput, seems to be a true intellectual, well-versed in political science, among other disciplines, while his wife has an intimate, friendly relationship with diminutive visitor, the king's relation to Gulliver is limited to serious discussions about the history and institutions of Gulliver's native land. He is thus a figure of rational thought who somewhat prefigures the poems in Book 4. The Brobding Nyans are basically a reasonable and kindly people governed by a sense of justice. Glumdam Klitsch is the farmer's nine-year-old daughter who becomes Gulliver's friends and nursemaid. The Darb of the Queen of Brobdingnag. He helps exaggerate the importance of Hyde in the novel. He had been the one being tormented until Gulliver came along. At that point, the Darb became incredibly envious, showing how hate, how Hyde could also equal social power. I really liked this project, in my opinion, because it was a very creative way in expressing and helping us understand the story better. I like that we separate the project into parts and we explain with the swoobist um, how, how we want to express ourselves. Since we get to choose how to make it in a movie or in a presentation, it becomes part of our own creation and it, we choose the way that helps us understand better. So I really liked doing this for each part and I like the fact that the swibis can be as long as you want it to be because everyone has their own style for learning and this gives you the choice to do that.